What's going on guys, today I'm going to be making a part 2 of just like random tricks and tips for FL Studio. Um, a lot of people liked the last one, so I'm just going to be making another one. And uh, yeah, if you want another part, you want a part 3, let me know. And uh, let's get into the first trick right now. So the first one is, uh, let's say you have this 808 right here. And you want to like uh, make the sample way longer so the 808 hits for a way longer amount of time. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on the 808 sample. So click on it right here. Then make sure that use loop points is on. After you've done that, you go right click on the sample and press edit in audio editor. When you're in Edison, after you've clicked on edit in audio editor, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on this magnet thingy right here and then click snap to zero crossing. Then after you've done that, you're going to want to click on this thing right here and press set loop. After you've done that, you're going to want to take these two parts right here, this one and this one, and just put them over two, just like two parts like this. I can't really explain. I don't know. Just like around like that, just sort of like two high waveforms like here. And after you have that, all you do is you go up here, drag the sample, and then you just drop it right back into the original sample. After you've done that, put down the 808 once and see how long it sounds now. As you can see, it's way longer than it was before, and it's just as easy as that. Now the next tip is a quick little shortcut. Let's say you're, for example, in expand or something, and you've turned this knob up, and you have no idea where it originally was. All you have to do is press Alt and click on it, and boom, it goes right back to the original. Same anywhere really, on any knob to be honest. So let's say this fruity limiter here, you accidentally turn it all the way down here, and you don't know where it was before, all you do, Alt, and click on it and then it's right back at the original place it was <laughs> also another good trick is if you want to link any of these channels to a mixer all you have to do is select it by clicking on this little thing here and then press ctrl l it will automatically mix into the first available channel and now if you want to like do it all at the same time all you can do is you just select these all at once just by clicking on it and holding down and then what you do press ctrl l and it will just link all of them down here, as you can see, to the next available channel. <laughs> Another good trick for uh, in FL Studio is, so let's say you have all these different samples in a project and you don't know which ones are the same ones. If I wanted to figure out which claps are all the same throughout the whole project, all I have to do is click on this little icon up here and then click select all similar clips. And after I've done that, it will show me all the clips that are exactly the same. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> Another thing that happens a lot is you'll accidentally drag a sample into the piano roll. For example, this crush right here. If I now drop it in here, it will be in the background. It's easy to get that out. All you have to do is press Alt N and it's gone again. So if you drop anything in there, like another one, and it's really annoying, just press Alt N and it's gone. <laughs> another good trick is let's say you have all these 808s right here or a kick or whatever, and you just want them all on the same note. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna select all of them, press Alt K, and then what it should do is bring them all into the same uh, note right there. As you can see, they're on C now. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, um, what you have to do is probably copy my settings right here and then try and like mess around by like going up here and just clicking up here and like hold and clicking and then moving this around for me at the start it didn't work but after I did that it worked out and now it works now so there you go and then just press accept and there you go <laughs> also another trick uh, let's say if you're in FL studio and um, you want to go back and you want to go back two steps instead of just one step uh, so what you're gonna do is press just control alt and Z and then you can just keep on pressing Z the whole time and it will just keep on going back as many steps as you want. And yeah, pretty much that way you can just go as far back as you want. And if you just want to go back one step, it's just the usual shortcut, Control Z. And that's pretty much it. Uh, another tip for the piano roll is also using all these different tools up here. Instead of always having to go up here and click on the different ones, you can just hold on right click and then start scrolling with your mouse. And it will, as you can see up there, just scroll through the different ones, stop where you want to go and it will leave you there. Then hold right click again, change to the next tool and you can keep it like that or you can also learn the shortcuts of Bahar so for example the pen is a P um, the cutting tool is a C you can learn all these shortcuts by uh, hovering with your mouse over the different ones and then checking up here what what the different shortcuts are <laughs> and so then I got another tip for the piano roll if you ever played something uh, down while playing on the piano roll but you've got to record it all you have to do is go up here to tools then come down here to dump score log to selected patterns and then see um, when's the last when you played that so last two minutes last five minutes depending when you played that and after you click on that 
it will show right back up what you had here as you can see i didn't play anything so that's why it says my score log is empty uh, but if you did it will just automatically show right back up in your piano roll ah! another good tip if you have a random like note down or more notes down and you just want to make it into one long note so what i'll do is i'll just select all of the notes that i want to make into one long note and then all i'll do is i'll press Control g and as you can see it turned it into one long note and yeah, that can save you quite a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all the tricks I have for uh, for today. Um, I'm actually I don't know how many tricks, how many how many tricks that was, but and uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want a part three, let me know. I'll try and make it longer then. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, check out my other channels, and peace.